In this video, I'm going to walk through how to install the leaked Jelly Bean firmware onto the Xperia S. But before I start, just a few notes. This is a beta ROM, so it is only for unlocked bootloaders. So even if you've rooted your phone and installed recovery, it won't work because you have to have an unlocked bootloader. So if you have a carrier branded phone, unfortunately you have to wait until the end of May, so two to four weeks until Jelly Bean officially comes out. If you want to check the status of your bootloader, like last time, you go into the dialer, pound star pound star, S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E, pound star pound star service. Go into service info, and then configuration. And at the bottom here, it should say uh, rooting status or bootloader status, and if this is not a yes, then you can't unlock your bootloader, and you can't continue with this video. So once again, this video is only for unlocked bootloaders. Second thing is, you must be on a stock uh, build 5.5 firmware. So down at the bottom, you can see this phone's on 61A255. If you don't have a .255, uh, you can flash it through recovery or install the full uh, FTF. So here it is, either download the zip or download the full flash file, FTF, and then flash it with the flash tool. If you haven't already, make sure you install all the drivers so you can go into fast boot mode. So once you've done that, plug in your phone. And you're going to need uh, three things. The actual firmware itself, right here, and then you need the advanced kernel, and make sure to back up all your data, including the external data. So once you've plugged in your phone, copy the zip file over to your phone. So there's the Jelly Bean firmware. And now you can flash the kernel. So first thing you're going to do, unplug the phone and power it off. Next, go into the flash tool and choose flash. But instead of regular flash mode, you're going to choose fast boot mode. So, once again, this is only for unlocked bootloaders. Hold the, hold the up button instead of the down button and connect your phone. The light should turn blue instead of green. And make sure you're using a USB 2.0 port, not a 3.0. If the, if the blue light turns off, it means you don't have drivers installed, so go back through and install the drivers properly. You're going to see it's, it says device connected. You're going to click select kernel to flash. Then just go to wherever you downloaded the kernel. So there it is, Doomlord Jelly Bean Leak. It's only going to take a few moments. There it is. So once you've done that, you can unplug your phone and boot it up. And when you see the pink light, press the up button and that'll take you into recovery. So there we go. Once you're in recovery, just follow the instructions. So you're going to choose custom zip. and then uh, choose zip from SD card and then scroll to wherever you uh, put the zip file, the Jelly Bean uh, ROM. And then click yes to uh, flash the ROM.
So once that's complete, it takes about uh, two minutes. You're just going to reboot. Let's go back and reboot system now. As always, the first time, it, it's always going to take longer. So once it's started up, it takes about three minutes. You'll see the interface is now white. And I'm just going to walk through uh, some of the new features in Jelly Bean. As you can see, once you start it up, you've got the new, it looks pretty similar, all the layout's the same. But now you have built-in toggles at the top. So volume, vibrate, silent, mute, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, data, and settings. And just to go through settings first usual Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you also have media server, NFC, and as you can see down here you've also got wallet capabilities uh, either by your provider or through Google Wallet if it's available. In Canada uh, it's just starting to roll out with CIBC and Rogers so not yet. If you go into mobile networks you're going to need to enter in your access point and that allows you to get uh, 3G data again. So go online and go to the database here and just choose your provider in your country and it'll give you all the uh, settings. So there you go. So just enter that in to get your 3G data. And once you've done all that save the APN and there you go back to 3G there we go so going back to settings you've got usual call settings Sound, clear phase, X loud, built in, vibration, just going to turn off touch sounds. Under display, Bravia engine, brightness, rotation, font size, uh, notification, themes, and lock screen. On the lock screen, you can just change the wallpaper until you lock things. Next up is uh, storage, so total free space. Uh, 1.75 then you've got all your apps and all your downloads power management you've got enhanced standby and when, it's, when the screen turns off it will disable data traffic apps all your apps installed uh, just to show how much space you have at the bottom Uh, 224 megs used and 1.8 gigs free. Under Xperia, uh, PlayStation, Internet settings, usage info, um, you can connect, installing PC Companion. Location services is the usual uh, GPS, Google location. Next up, we've got security, all the different screen locks, SIM locks, password visibility, unknown sources, USB debug, uh, sorry, just unknown sources here, language and input, all the different keyboards, and there are 
dozens and dozens of languages, so it does come with everything preloaded. Backup and reset, backup your data or not. A setup guide is the wizard at the beginning. Add account is uh, Facebook, Google, date and time, usual stuff, accessibility, and developer options. So bug reports, USB debugging's there. Back on the home screen, you no longer hold to change things. Back on the home screen, same thing, hold to be able to change things. But now you can add apps and widgets and wallpapers directly from the bottom here. Underneath your apps, uh, all the usual stuff, backup and restore, diagnostics, which is a developer tool. This is the same thing as the diagnostic menu, which you can access with uh, the service menu. Xperia Link, Walkman, Voice Search, YouTube. Some of the new changes to Jelly Bean, as you can see on the lock screen, you got this nice little blind effect. And you can access the music player directly, as well as the camera. Unlocking and going to the home screen, if you hold down to customize, you've got five home screens and you can add up to two more for seven. Uh, they can either be all on one side or you can customize it, put one on each side, etc. As well at the bottom you have your widgets, you can see all of them here and choose where you want to put them. As well as your apps, uh, Google Chrome does come pre-installed. Uh, wallpapers, both live and regular, and your themes. Um, everything is nice and smooth. I haven't run into any major bugs. The one thing I've noticed is every, is every once in a while the notification light will turn on and stay on. Uh, so that's obviously a bug and hopefully they resolve fix it in the next couple of weeks. Um, if you hold down the home button, you've got your app switcher as well as all your small apps, calculator, stopwatch, notes, and recorder, as well as downloading uh, new small apps. Once you flash your phone, you can go into settings, and just like last time, if you keep tapping on Android version, you're going to get a, a little Easter egg. So now it is on 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. And that's pretty much it. So once again, the, uh, the Jelly Bean update should be rolling out in probably two to four weeks, depending on the device. On the Xperia P, it's already out. And there's also uh, routes for unlocked, as well as locked bootloaders, which is really nice. Also, the Xperia tablet has finally been rooted. Um, let me try to pull up that thread. Here it is. The Xperia Tablet S has been rooted with Jelly Bean. So to recap, this leaked Jelly Bean firmware is only for unlocked bootloaders and only for the Xperia S. Do not try flashing this for an, on another phone because you may damage the phone. Make sure you read all the instructions and the links in the description and in the frequently asked questions. Uh, if you have any questions about the ROM, uh, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Once again, thanks for watching and subscribing.